Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On the series Tragedy Game, and we are returning to France and trying to turn it into an ultra religious society. So, last time around, we did change up our cabinet, and that should hopefully give us a little bit more political power. We will need to make sure um, that these people here are happy. Uh, but one of the remarkable things about France is that the cast of available ministers is really, really diverse, and you can't really focus on any one specific group. Um, if we look at the sympathies over here, which does drive the happiness of these people and consequently how much political capital we are getting, it's very diverse. I mean, even trying to focus on, on one specific group here, no single group here has more than two ministers who are supporting that. And that is quite unique. So um, among, you know, we have seven ministers, all of them do have two sympathy groups. So we have 14 uh, sort of sympathy alignments here and no single group here um, has more than two. And that's quite interesting, I think, because that means we'll have to play extremely balanced over here and we are going to face some challenges. We are about in the middle of our current campaigning season or in our, our current term. So we will need to think about uh, electioneering in about the next 10 turns. So a couple of things are looking great. Our popularity is good, looking fine for now, but I do think there are going to be some challenges. One of them is we have propelled GDP up over here, and that's very nice. That was one of our main objectives over here. We did prevent the death spiral of debt indebtedness, so that's very nice. But there are some sort of second round effects um, that do come back to bring that down, probably. And one of that is the wages. So as the GDP increases, wages go up, and as wages go up, uh, they'll have some repercussions here on productivity. Uh, so as people are earning more, they're going to be a little bit less productivity in terms of labor unit costs um, and that will drive up some other effects here like the uncompetitive environment and various other things going around so it's not necessarily great there is going to be a downturn here the second thing is if we're looking at the global cycle you can definitely please see that we are on the downturn now uh, and that will become stronger over the next couple of turns before it becomes better at some point that just might be just before the election so I'm thinking that GDP here, which is currently keeping us afloat in happiness, um, will probably come down and that is going to uh, become an issue in some way. The other big uh, negative thing is that if you look at the parties over here, you can see we've got the least members and the least activists. So that's a big issue over here. And even if we look at the fundraising, you can see our people here are not that happy. And that is due to the fact that some of these people here are aligned with groups that are really, really not aligned with our core values. So, for example, liberals over here, and um, they're pretty much against any religious stuff. And we've even got parents over here. Parents are, of course, nice, but parents are massively impacted by the health crisis that we've got going. So we've got obesity, respiratory disease, hospital overcrowding, um, and doctor strike. And all of these things do uh, somewhat come together because doctor strike is decreasing health. Health is, uh, low health is, increasing healthcare demand that does mean hospital overcrowding is becoming more um, prevalent and obviously the, some of these other effects do feed into that as well so that is something that we do need to deal with as well over the next 10 turns or so that being said uh, we do definitely want to keep the religious people happy they're currently only slightly supportive we've got at least two sympathetic uh, advisors here so let's see whether we can do anything over there and couple of interesting things over here. Let's deal with that in a second. GDP is still holding up for now, but unemployment is already going up again. So that you can see there is already some uh, signs of these effects coming into play. Health is going down. As interestingly is education, and I don't know why that is coming down, but it is. So we'll need to deal with that. Everything else seems to be fine. Organized crime could be an issue. So we will need to deal with that definitively. I think we need to increase intelligence services at some point very soon. That will also help because we are upsetting a lot of people. Who would have thought? Uh, and that is, that is interesting. Wow. Yeah. I thought that'd be an issue. I didn't think it would be quite as dramatic, to be, to be completely honest. Did the game get an update while I was not watching? I don't know. Maybe the mechanics changed slightly. If so, then, then this is going to turn out to be very, very interesting here. Yeah, well, on the other hand, ethnic minorities here are pretty much collapsing in their support force, uh, which is to be expected. 
But then again, immigration should fall at some point here. Right, this is going to be drastic. So do we want to allow a merger of a large internet company? I do think we're going to allow that because it's bringing up GDP. Self-important trade unions dislike us already. But man, oh man, okay, that I did not expect here with the popularity collapsing pretty much that hard. And we're getting a lot less political capital than I was expecting. We were getting 19, the game advised. And the maximum is gone? Really? Okay, the de game has definitely gotten an update here that I wasn't aware of. Right. Let's see what that does mean for us. I think it does mean that we cannot directly affect some of these changes that I was hoping for. It does mean, though, I want to address some of these health issues here. Specifically, I mean, these things do influence everyone, and everyone is kind of upset about that. Capitalists are, are all right-ish. There are very few trade unionists, so I'm not too concerned about these things. But that over here, with parents, and I think with the elderly, retired, these are not small groups, and they are massively upset by the hospital overcrowding. It is coming down, but not nearly fast enough. And healthcare demand might actually be going up, so that will probably have a detrimental effect on all of this here. Now, as I said, the issue here is, is likely that you've got two of these effects, and they sort of both are influenced in the same way, uh, but these things do interact in a very non-linear fashion. So there are two things that we could do. We could go... Basically, you're a little bit better off even either going very high on the uh, state health services or very low. Now, the issue with very high is we are running a surplus over here, but it's really, really melting down. And we don't really have enough money to to, 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 to deal with that. And private health care would go down, continue to go down as we are pushing up uh, state health care services. On the other hand, the doctor strike really, really needs to be addressed. The alternative is pretty much scrapping this completely and trying to get to a point uh, where we only have private healthcare. That is much, much more viable from a financial perspective, but you do need proper GDP for that, um, which we have for now, but I'm, I'm slightly concerned that that might not last for a long time. And I think we are better off in terms of trying to encourage the uh, the election over here if we were to try to address that more directly. Respiratory disease, that is not going to go away anytime soon. I don't think there's much that we can do. We do need to help the environment, but there's not much. There's not much we can do. Well, preschool meals are usually nice because they do help on the obesity, but that's again going to be a long-term issue. I think the big issue here is the doctor strike because that I think is pretty much enough. Yeah, so honestly, I think the thing that we need to do is we need to bring up state healthcare services. Let's look at that. So currently, the doctor strike does need to come down by, let's call that 15 percentage points. We are pretty much at zero here on, on either of these effects. Well, 17. So, uh, yeah, we would need about 17 on the state healthcare services, a minus 17. And the hospital overcrowding, if we were to got directly get rid of that. But this is more complicated because there is the trade off, as you can see. So, if we are bringing up state healthcare services, private healthcare will go down. That will basically negate any effects uh, from over here. Unless, of course, we are saturating that. Right. So I do think we'll just try to bring that here to a point where it's enough. It's probably more than we need. Yeah, it's about 10 million. I think we can run a deficit and maybe at a later point uh, we will decide on scrapping this here entirely. But I do think it has the chance of carrying us over the election here. So let's try to do that. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to increase free school meals. It's going to be helpful for a couple of people. It's going to decrease poverty. That's nice. And it's going to decrease obesity over the long term. It's a very long term issue. But that is already kind of nice. Right. Anything else that we could do for six political power? I don't think there's much that we can do. And I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. I don't know why we're so unpopular over here. Probably because of the safeguarding of oil supplies. That might go away over time. 
Uh, that's, a, that's a very harsh drop over here. I had not expected that. Anything else we want to do? Food stamps are useful because they're pretty much universally considered as something good, which is nice. Yeah, anything else that we want to do? Youth clubs, yeah, this is nice, but sort of an, an, uh, an unheard for campaign. Cycling campaign is nice, and it's pretty much inexpensive, but that's okay. You know what? Let's go for the food stamps over here. We're going to max that out because it's just everyone likes that. Farmers, equality goes up, compassionate goes up. Poor are very, very happy about that. I like that. That is a good policy. It does eat into our surplus, but I do think that is acceptable. Right. Anything else that we want to do then? Um, don't see anything for now. Let's go for the cyclist campaign then. It's a, just a small, small thing here, but it does help a little bit, so I think that's okay. Right, let's see. I'm, I'm really concerned about the popularity here. Yeah, I, I do know that you're upset, but you should actually be one of the most supportive groups of us. Everyone's going to hate us because of deadly water contamination. Well, that's lovely. Poverty, at least, is collapsing, so that's good. Why is everyone so upset? Well, they're becoming a little bit better over here. We are earning some political power now. Why are you so upset? You shouldn't be so upset. Yeah, middle income is moderately unhappy. I understand that. Well, we are running a deficit now, so I don't want to decrease any taxes. So there's not much that we can do on that specifically. But let's see. Okay, so you guys, you should be going away. So that's lovely because health is going to go up dramatically. Doctor Strike is, is going to be a thing of the past. Hospital overcrowding hopefully is going to go away. But I can't doubt it, actually. Maybe in a couple of turns once healthcare demand does recover. Obesity just will take a while. And respiratory disease, yeah, it's coming down nicely. But again, this is going to take an awful long time. What's their direct effect by some of the car things? I mean, parents really hate that, and it would be really nice to get rid of that. So, was there something that directly had an effect here on respiratory disease? New car, yeah, new car subsidies did, but they would increase car usage. So, I'm not actually sure how much good that would do for us. But we're going to hold off on that. Right. Hmm. All in all, I would like to push more our direct agenda, but it just seems to be so difficult. Um, car emission limits are also a thing, aren't they? They could help out on the environment, and that might just help. So yeah, that would be super useful for the environment. It's going to be a long-term effect, though. I'm not sure whether we can go for long-term effect right now. You know what, let's do it simply so that we are doing okay. A political power is not a lot. GDP? Okay, GDP is coming down slightly. And we still have the issue here of the uncompetitive economy. And that is largely driven by productivity. Now, there's one thing that we can do to deal with the productivity issue. You can see it's extremely low. Now, it's mostly low due to relatively high wages. Um, education being somewhat eh, and various other things here that are just not great. Now, one of the things that I find curious and that, which I do not fully understand the reasoning for, but it is there, and we should use it, is the state postal service. You can see it has various effects that you'd sort of expect. Um, capitalists dislike it because it's a state service. Socialists do like it because it's a, say, it's a state service. It does increase the number of socialists because I guess uh, people do rely on that and they see that it's working. Um, and unemployment is coming down slightly. So that is all what you kind of would expect. But there's actually an effect on productivity. And it does look tiny on this graph. But if we bring that up entirely, you can see this is actually a 4% boost to productivity. I do not know why it's there, but it is. So let's try to uh, back that in with our apolitical power here. It's not going to cost us a lot. And I do think it has a disproportionate effect here on GDP, especially if we could at some point get rid of the uncompetitive economy. 
Um, even if we bring that up a little bit, I mean, product, increasing productivity is pretty much the only thing that I can see getting us out of this. Doctor Strike has been called off. That's lovely to see, but GDP is starting to come down here. That's not good. So let's allow the drilling here. Environmentalists dislike it, but the oil supply is going to come up, so that's good. We have a moderate deficit here. That's not too bad. Um, and I do hope that at some point we're going to see a recovery here of the global economy uh, because that is certainly depressing here, uh, the overall GDP level. That's not necessarily the worst because depressing the overall GDP level does mean um, that the environment is going to be benefiting from the GDP. As you can see, it's almost on the level where we once were. And that is going to depress the respiratory disease here uh, pretty much the strongest. So that's very nice to see, actually. Um, and that could help us out. Hospital overcrowding is coming up again as the private health care service here is um, pretty much collapsing again, which is not nice. That's also largely due to the state health care service. So I expect that to come down, uh, come up actually over time, uh, which is not great. On the other hand, healthcare demand should go down uh, since we have increased some of these things. Alcohol consumption should basically zero. Technology, yeah, some of these things. I mean, health is pretty much maxed out, isn't it? Yeah, so that should decrease the healthcare demand and it should lead to less hospital overcrowding. Curious that that is still not a direct effect, but we do need the support of the parents and the retired. So I'm very, very concerned about that. Okay, my friend, you need to be a little bit. You, your loyalty here needs to come up because the religious people just really, really should be happy. We're doing so much for them. Interesting to see that we're not seeing any maximum over here. I don't know what that does mean exactly, but we'll have to see. Okay, we're earning 18, let's call it 17 for now. So I do want to introduce at least one um, religious policy over here. And that does cost 25 political power. So let's not spend everything. Uh, let's spend at the most 10. What are we going to do with 10 political power? Now, I think there's one thing that is under welfare that could be very useful. Social care over here has the potential to cost a lot, but it does decrease health care demand. That's super useful. Also, retired people like it. Socialists like it. Pretty much all of that is nice. Health is going up. That's not really dramatically important, but it's still going to be nice at least. I'm also thinking a little bit of the welfare fraud department. Poor people hate that, and that is an issue because um, two of our people do support the poor uh, strata, and that does mean we'd lose some support here from these ministers. But, um, but middle-income people do like it, and that is one of our most critical guys over here, so that would be nice. And I think conservatives do like it, and we've got another one over here. So it is sort of balanced, and it's shifting things a little bit between where I want them to. So you know what? Let's do both of these things. Let's do be a little bit more social over here. Curious that poor people do not specifically like that. Four billion, that's not actually... That's much more expensive than I thought. Let's not overdo that then. I would like to be it on, on a very high level here. But actually this is not quite linear. It does seem to drop down a little bit. So we don't need to do that that high. I suppose we can keep it. Let's put it somewhere over here, sort of in the middle. And I think that's going to be all right. Then we're also going to go for the welfare fraud department. I did want to keep seven around, yeah. So that should be that should be okay. Let's implement that. As you can see, poor people dislike it, minus eight percent here. But conservatives, that's a plus, that's a plus here too. So I think all in all that is gonna be alright, even though compassionate is gonna be a little bit uh, below that. And it does actually increase uh, our income by a tiny fraction here. So let's see how that is gonna turn out for us. Oh we've got he resigned. That's that's incredibly bad for us. That's not an issue here. We are running a significant deficit at this point, so that's not good. And the global economy is, is still coming down. That's really not great. Okay, welfare, who can we hire? 
is there anyone who's religious? Uh, let's look at the loyalty here. It's curious that we did lose the religious person here. Yeah, we did lose him completely. That's an issue. Now, liberals are going to hate us in this playthrough, so I don't want to really bank on them. Motorists, I never managed to um, be good with them. You, sir, do like environmentalists and you do like parents. And parents are not actually... You're also kind of nice, actually. No, but you're not welfare. Motorists, liberals, no. Conservative farmers, it's not actually super bad. Capitalist motorists, no. How are parents, how are the parents looking for now? So parents should be starting to look a little bit better as we've dealt with at least one of these things. So that is nice. This should come down here as we've introduced the social care, but it does seem to take some time to come into effect. It's not actually that large. I would have hoped that that would be larger. Well, interesting. So what can we really do? If we increase that more, it would basically just phase out the private healthcare. So I'm not sure whether that is going to really have an impact over here. Population, can't do much about that. And healthcare demand, I don't think there's much that we can do to bring that down, actually. Technology is only going to increase it. Immigration needs to come down a little bit, but hmm, we probably need to deal with the obesity. Yeah, and that's going to have a huge a huge time lag. So it's not really that useful for us at this moment. Interesting. Middle income, you guys are feeling a little bit more happy? Why not? I, would, I was thinking that you would be a little bit more happy. Uh, you're, you, this effect here is waning off from the housing expansion. Oh, and your, the minister who is sympathetic to you was, it did resign. Yeah, I, I see that. I do like environmentalists. They they are pretty stable, supportive group of us. So maybe that would be the best choice. Yeah, pretty much youth, motorists. Conservative farmers is sort of the other thing that, that I could see working. Um, but you know what? Let's go for parent middle income. No, let's go for let's go for this gentleman over here. That should be okay. How much political power are we now earning? 18. The maximum is 32. I really don't understand how they changed that. It used to be twice that amount. Doesn't seem to be anymore. Maybe it's still it hasn't registered that change. I don't know. Right, at the very least, we are getting some political power here. Now, we've got 25 political power still, so let's do something for the religious and do be a little bit more aggressive over here because we haven't really done anything uh, very religious in, in this uh, episode yet. And that is, we are going to go for a completely fundamentalist education here. That has a couple of big uh, effects. That is going to make the religious people a lot more happy, which is lovely. It's also going to bring down the happiness of the liberals much more than that, actually, uh, which is not great, actually, because probably for the election, that might actually be not that great, because let's look at that. The liberals do make up 51% of the population, whereas the religious people only make up 34. So that will be a net decrease of happiness in our country, as you would kind of expect. But only in the short term. In the long term, this does mean that religious membership is going to go up by a whooping 30% and the liberalist membership is going to go down by 7%. So it's a tough policy here, but we are going to go ahead with it. Um, it's going to have good long-term effects, even though at this point we should start to look very much at short-term effects. So let's see what is going to come up over here. Unemployment coming up. Interesting. GDP sort of maybe stabilizing. Poverty pretty much at zero. That's nice to see. We're getting a literary award. That is also nice to see. We are running a deficit still, but it doesn't look too, too bad. I think once the global economy will recover a little bit here, we might see uh, everything starting to become a little bit better over here. Right. GDP, things are starting to look okay-ish, I would think. State postal, postal services did bring that up here, as you can see. A very hefty amount. I'm, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, why would a very effective state uh, postal service drive up productivity so much? I do not know, but it does. Good. 
Uncompetitive economy, still a far cry from, from really being uh, tackled over here. So, what can we do? I mean, unemployment is is still bringing that down. Wages, yeah, respiratory disease, all of these things are an issue. I would really love to deal with that, but honestly, I think our popularity here does very strictly need to recover and, and be a little bit more stable before we can do anything else here. And hospital overcrowding, still big, big issue here. And we cannot really tackle the respiratory disease right now. Obesity is coming down, but I don't think we're going to get rid of it. So this is tough. This is a tough one. I think what we might have to do is actually increase that more over here. That would have a minus 5% effect here on hospital overcrowding. Really, really not enough. Well, that's pretty much the only thing that I see that we could do. It also would bring down obesity, albeit over a very long time. Not sure we really want to do that then. It's it's a tough one. It's It's really tough. I dislike it. Okay, car emission limits, we have brought that up already, so I don't, don't think we need to address that further. Curiously enough, religious, in, encouraging the religious people or not is not going to have that much of an effect. Environmentalists, there's a lot of you guys, so it might make some sense to try to support you more. Oh, you're very complacent. That's interesting. That's, that's very interesting. So you are pretty much used to being helped out already. And that, I think, is a big issue here that we are facing. Middle income, really, really unhappy. Largely because of the income tax, but we can't change that now. Otherwise, we do risk... Ooh, air travel is very high. We might increase air taxes here. That would decrease air travel, which would, in turn, help the environment. I think probably has a very large effect on the environment by now. Eh, 5%. It's not that bad. It does slightly decrease rail usage. Hmm. Not a big concern, though. Productivity. Yeah, but I do. Okay, the number one issue that we are facing here is hospital overcrowding. Let's be honest about that. That has a huge effect on our popularity. We cannot change the population. We could change this. But it would be so expensive. And we cannot change healthcare demand, I think. Health has been maxed out already. Social care doesn't really help a lot. So we need to bring down some of these positive effects over here. And some of them have a very long time lag. So I don't think they're going to come in at time for the tobacco usage is a bit of an issue, right? Yeah, and respiratory disease and but immigration probably is the one the one effect that is driving this up the most. Cannot increase citizen well probably we do need to increase border patrols further to bring down immigration. But the thing is ethnic minorities do make up about the third of our population. And they're hugely upset about that already. They're also upset about these things, and that will go away at some point. Mm. Anything that is hugely popular, then. I don't think a lot of things are, well, child provision. It's super useful for a lot of these effects. Socialism would go up, interestingly. Capitalists dislike it, and unemployment would go down. Compassionate gender equality. All of these things are good. Is it a Christian policy? Well, it does depend. I think in a very Christian state, uh, we wouldn't necessarily mind. We could call that Sunday school or something. Um, on the other hand, of course, family values are one of the staples of, um, of a more conservative layout. Interestingly, conservatives don't seem to mind that. So that's interesting, isn't it? Recycling, environmentalists, environmentalist membership will go up. You know what? Let's do it. I think this is very, very effective over the long term and the short term. Because a large proportion of our population is actually environmentalists, 
they are happy, making them more happy is going to be helpful, and getting more of these people is also going to be helpful. And overall, it's just a very good policy. So recycling, there we go. Let's implement it. It is kind of expensive, uh, but I do want to help the environment here because we do need to get rid of the respiratory disease and everything else. So yeah, good. Clean energy subsidy, no pollution controls. Honestly, I think that might be useful simply because the environment is going to be so happy about that. Let's do it. We are a weird government here, you know, just last time around we did introduce uh, both mandatory church services and car sharing and that's that's sort of a, a very schizophrenic government if you will but on the other hand you know you can uh, drive to church in in a joint car so yeah, i guess that's that's fine okay this time around our big uh religious change here uh, was basically getting the uh, changing the education to be very very fundamentalist here um let's see how good that is going to do us in in election time I think we will probably for the first time do some electioneering here, so directly preparing speeches and everything, because I don't really feel comfortable uh, with the popularity here. This this was a big, big drop here, um, which I very much disliked. So let's see whether we can uh, help ourselves out of that hole and get a bit more of a consistency going on over here. That being said, I think it's been a good play, got time to uh, put in a cup. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you again around next time. Bye bye.